Let's go to this show with a story from his face. Manning High School in Texas postpones graduation as 85% of class fails to get a diploma. This is a class is about 35 students. And of course, the teacher should know the names of all students, right? Now, before you blame the student or social media for this, I think we need to blame the teachers. Now, I'm not talking about what they teach in class. I'm talking about their lack of innovation. Because if they were innovative enough, they would have made graduation a TikTok challenge. <laughs> then, problem solved. 85% of the students will graduate. They'll be like, hashtag, this is my exam, hashtag graduation. Now, if this was to be in an African home, trust me, the students will not see the end of it. The student can be like, hey, mommy, please pass me the jam. I will be like, everything you do in my house is food, 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 food. They're always eating. <laughs> you have been in school, you have been able to pass your jam. Or the child might be like, mommy, I want to go to the cinema. Chibuke, I want to go to the graduation. <laughs> now, while all this is happening, in California, a young lad of 12 years named Clovis Hong graduated with five degrees. Wow. And from his name, Clovis Hong, of course, you know where he's from. But his parents might still be like, five degrees is good, but you know what's better? Six. And Chongqing got six degrees. Why can't you be like Chongqing? But to me, I'm like, is this even, is this even, like, is this even legal? I don't understand. A child of 12 years having five degrees. At the age of 12, what I was doing was ringing the doorbell at people's gate and running before they find out. <laughs> Moving on with some more crazy news. In Iran, a mother wore a news dress to create awareness for Iran executions. My sympathy goes to the Iranians for what they're experiencing. For young lady, men don't look at her dress. I can't even remember what she's wearing. I don't even know the color. Moving on to business news. Target became the target as they lose ten billion dollars in ten days as stock fall following display of LGBTQ friendly kids clothing. Wow, ten billion dollars. I guess that is the most expensive ads ever run by any company. <laughs> 10 billion dollars probably to teach them a lesson that it is enough for you to try to impose sexuality on adults but then it's actually too much for you to try imposing some people's sexuality on children i mean these are innocent minds don't you understand that these children won't be born if their parents are not straight we know with some more crazy news a 102-year-old woman who just celebrated her birthday said that the secret to happiness and long life is good sex. <laughs> wow. I guess I see the reason why I've been unhappy and been falling sick so frequently for the past two years. Anyways, happy birthday to her. Um, I wish you more life, longer life, and also more happiness to you and the person shifting your diaper. <laughs> Moving on to the big stories of the day, Russia issues IS warrant on Senator Lizzie Graham over this. Free or die. Free or die. Now you are free. Yes. And we will be. And the Russians are dying. It's the best money we've ever spent. <laughs> wow. The best money spent, huh? So the money spent on education and healthcare and infrastructure is not good money. <laughs> That tells how much politicians see things, the perspective of politicians. In Nigeria, Senator Ahmed Sinibu, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, was sworn in as a president on the 29th of May. Now, during his inauguration, he did this. The march of the colors and the rest of the parade. Please. May I request we all rise as a mark of respect to all officers and <laughs> all officers I don't actually know what he's doing, of course, but probably he's taking a victorious walk on his enemies or a victorious walk on the forces of the land. And then during this innovation, and Idon did this. 
Thank you. At the end of the national anthem, the parade commander will now ride to take permission from the special guest of honor, the march of the colors. I can bet you that this is a TikTok influencer. I mean, look at his tripod stand. Maybe he's thinking he's, um, he's, he's, maybe he's thinking he's famous and the bouncer, I swear, that's fucking crazy. Now, during this inauguration, the president said some few things and of course it sounded like Joe Biden, but the people did not care. Prior to now, they make me that of the times where he sounded like Joe Biden, but something about this time made them not to care about the way he sound or what he said. Because after what he said, Nigerians experience something different. Well, let's first of all look at what he said. When shall continue the effort of the Buhari administration and infrastructure development there? And know how many railroads and water infrastructure of fuel subsidy? Unfortunate. The budget that I've glimpsed before I asked him of me and what I've had is that no provision is there for fair subsidy. The fair subsidy is gone. Now, after that speech, Nigerians experienced this. <laughs> Let's take some more stories from the land of the brave, built while breaking the backbones of slaves. A land that's having more guns than university degrees. A land that experienced at least one mass shooting every single week. Talking about the US, of course. Where there was a shooting on Memorial Day near Beach in Hollywood, Florida. Nine people were wounded during a shooting on a Florida beach this Memorial Day. After gunshots rang out, people ran for their lives on the Hollywood Oceanfront Boardwalk in Hollywood Beach, Florida. An eyewitness told CBS News. I heard several gunshots, seeing a crowd of people running through here, and then we heard like three more shots down the street. What started as what a police spokesperson described as a dispute between two groups turned into nine people, some of whom are children, being rushed to the hospital. Okay, now this is my two cents when it comes to gun policy. We all agree that the negative outweighs the positive. So why to leave guns in the hands of citizens? I mean, when black men get pulled up and they try to bring out their ID card, they get shot because the police officers feel they are actually bringing out a gun. So why don't you take the gun from every citizen? Except you're keeping the gun so that the cops will keep shooting the black men thinking they're actually having a gun. But until we find out, let's wrap up today's show with another episode of Crazy Internet News. In the heart of the blockchain, charity token presents the charity show.